go. All right, buddy. All right. What are we drinking this time? I feel like I do the same intro every time. Yeah, well, two times the charm, I guess. But yep. uh, Barrel, Barrel Vantage, right? Barrel so Vantage. This, was, this thing's been making its rounds and has been popular, but I thought simply because of the controversy that it's in, we could start off with some... Um, fireball. Oh, you're, you're pulling that one out on me, huh? Yeah, you know, I mean, mm. I wonder, so for those of you that don't know, which anyone anyone who's in the whiskey, who, who's interested in whiskey, has probably heard that Fireball's under some trouble, Sazerac, because their minis don't have any whiskey in it. I don't know about this one, though. Mm. I don't know if it said uh, uh, the bigger bottles don't have anything, but hey, 66 proof. Not a bad way to start. 66 proof. Yep. What is Barrel Vantage? Barrel Vantage is hotter than that. I, I, I... <laughs> you just You're don't know. Gonna... <laughs> you haven't done your research on the bottle, huh? I can edit you drinking this if you want. <laughs> uh, uh, barrel Vantage is 115.88. I'm getting nervous just, so, to, just to like have to shoot something because it's going to destroy my stomach. Well, I'll do it. I'll do it then. Here, cheers to nobody, I guess. You're going to leave me hanging. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take I'll take a a sip. You can a take a sip. I'll, I'll you just take sip a sip. I'll you just take sip. a sip. Okay. It's, gonna, it's gonna go off like okay. the bottom of my stomach. All right. Cheers yeah. to maybe whiskey. Cheers. <sighs> okay. Man. Dude, that's gonna ruin our palate. Big red gum. Yeah. Do you think that's gonna ruin our palate for vantage? No. No? Probably. No. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Oh my god, idiot. it smells good. Oh yeah. Let's just get it poured. Thank you, buddy. So, how do you think? Um, well, first off, I want to say, I get cinnamon red hot all over this. Yeah, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> that's that's normal for it. I've read up. That's on what it. I've heard uh, about Vantage. Yeah. We'll put this right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, yep. there we go. But, well, speaking of Fireball, you know, mm -hmm. it's like one of those bottles. Anytime you go into a liquor store, there's cases of it. Yeah. And, you know, if you know a liquor store owner or you talk to him, it's like, well, I have to, I have to move like 30 cases of this or a, or a Wheatley vodka in order to get, you know, Pappy or Blanton's or whatever it is. It's the same sob story. Yep. And then when they do get it, there's only mm -hmm. like one bottle or you never see it anyways because they got a guy that's on the top of their list. Right. Which I get that spends the money. So like, how do you get these bottles? Like, how do you even establish that relationship? Everyone knows... The t standard, like you gotta, gotta do the due diligence. You gotta meet them. You gotta buy stuff, all that. But like, how many times can you do that? I know. I mean, I've done it. I guess <laughs> you know. <laughs> right. You I, know. That's the only way. Really, there's no other know. way. And it's a question of how did that guy who's at the top of the list, how did he get to the top of the list? What did he do that you didn't? Well, got on his knees. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah. uh, I mean, or the you mean you mean you mean begging, right? That's what yeah, you meant. That's okay. what I mean. Yeah. I mean, or the equivalent of it with just a big fat wad. I think we're cash. already, dude. I think we're already messing. This camera's already messing with us. I'm not joking. With Seriously. You. Did you, can you see it? Is it off? Technical difficulties. It's off. Every time, guys. We'll be right back. Now, what did you say to me? I was trying to pay attention. And... Well. You know, how do you establish that relationship with with the uh, the liquor store owner to make sure you're on that list for the bottles? Like, and this is not a tutorial on how to do it. I just want to know, like, because everyone does the same shit. Mm -hmm. So, do you get on your knees? Do you pull out a wad? Like, hey, I'm gonna spend this much money. Like, mm -hmm. what do you do? You know, how do you how do you make sure you're the their guy on the list? Because it seems to me that uh, you ain't getting it. If, let's uh, move that. Let's move that uh, lamp a little bit so I can see you a little bit better. No, I don't like looking at the lamp. Though, <laughs> to be honest with you, you like to we hide. We can pretend. Yeah, we'll just hide yeah. a little bit. Okay, so that's a great question, but I think my answer is going to be, I do the same things that everybody else does. That's what my assumption is, <clears throat> right? Because like mm -hmm. I know what you do, right, for the most part, and then you probably know what I do. It's like you just go in there and you're like, "Hey, man, <clears throat> how's it going?" And then you're like, "Actually, what hey, I man. hey hey guy hey guy you got any blends? Got any yeah. got any blends?" And then they're like, you can't ask that right away. No, of course not. No, no, no. Because they'll just throw you out. Like I've seen somebody get like their ass thrown out. Like they kick them in the butt. No, you haven't. Okay, yeah, I haven't seen that. But <laughs> asking if you have blands is like asking if you're DTF on the first date. I think. Yeah, kind of. You know, that's a good equivalency. A, I think so. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think what like honestly what I do <clears throat> is I'll go up there and be like, you got any good barrel picks coming? usually what yeah, i say you, you, t you really don't give a shit if they do or they don't but here's the deal 
they know that people who are in the know will ask that question. But here's the thing, though, too. I do give a shit because I yeah. love barrel picks. Either way, I'm curious. It's Usually, like, it's it's a good it's a good segue and key to their heart. Like you like yeah. So yeah. So here's the deal. Kind of like what you said. You're like I don't I don't care. But here's because yeah. because sometimes what it what happens is they have what everyone else is getting. So like oh I got Elijah Craig, mm-hmm. you know whatever. And you're like okay, well so does ten other stores in the area. Yeah. But sometimes they're like, you know, if they if you have a good conversation and they start to kind of open up to you, they'll be like, listen, but I've got like a Blanton's barrel mm-hmm. coming in like a couple months. And then you're like, oh, nice. Okay. So hey. so if asking if asking if you have any Blanton's is if you're DTF on a date, right? asking about barrel picks must be the equivalent to like, what do you do for a living? Because right. you don't really care, <clears throat> but you do because if they say something good, it's like, oh, yeah, it would be okay. like <clears throat> it would be like mm-hmm. you can't do that right away because of like the DTF thing, right? Yes. But this is almost like in the equivalency of them being like somehow implying in the future I might be DTF in the sense because that's like sure. in the future yes. I'm gonna have a blends yeah, barrel yeah, yeah. pick coming, right? And yeah. that's that's how it usually goes. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think that that's how you do it. But mm-hmm. uh, what's the um, what's the most you've ever spent on a bottle? Mm. And what bottle is it, if you're willing to say? Yeah, I'll tell you. Uh, on a, like a specific bottle, um, I'm trying to remember exactly mm. because I've done like bundle things. Like you were there for one that I did mm-hmm. where it was like, yeah. I was, watched like, you get ripped off. Yeah, you watched yeah. me get ripped off. It was a mm-hmm. uh, Weller 12, and this was like back in what 2019 <clears> or something. It was a Weller 12, and then it was um, Old Fitz. Old Fitz. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It was those two, and then it was 500 bones for both of them. So it's like. I'm, what did I spend? Is that two fifty? So then, I guess in the end of the day, that's not bad for old, the old Fitz fifteen. It was yeah, old Fitz fifteen. It was a 15. 15. It was 15. 15. Yep. Yeah. So that's not so, bad for the old Fitz fifteen. Right. But it is I, bad for the Weller. It is 12. bad for the Weller, I right. guess. But it is a hard Weller to get. But really hard to hear. But still, it's like listen to us, ra- you know, rationalizing that. That's why the fucking market is the way it is. I know. We're part, <clears> you're part. <throat> that's the whole thing. You're part of the problem. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's like. Ask it's me. almost ask me what I got too. Okay, so first off, I'll just tell you, the one that I know for sure that's like, it was that cost. It was actually a min price, but like for any bottle, because that's people ask me that, like who come you know to see the mm-hmm. bottles we have here. I'm like, what's the most expensive bottle you ever got? And you're like, well, technically, we talking about like a min price bottle because it's like, or value because that's what the thing right? value right because <clears throat> you're like, I could have spent. Some people, I haven't done this, but some people have spent like six to eight hundred bucks on Weller Foolproof, right? Insane. It's yeah. not near that value. No. And it, you'd be like, oh, it's a f- actually a $50 bottle. So that's really not what they're <laughs> looking for. They want to find the thing that has like the most value. They're like, yes. what is something? So I usually go by what would be a state min price or like a MSRP price for something. Mm-hmm. And I, the thing that I think I've spent the most on from MSRP is Barrel Seagrass 16 year. Right. Yeah, that's 250. 250. Yeah, that's 250. Yep. I was there for that one too. Yeah, you are. You're there for all of my yeah. ridiculous purchases. Yeah, that's true. I might yeah, have you usually, oh, usually I might fuel be them. the influence <laughs> from those. Yeah, it's it's uh, actually your yeah. fault if I remember correctly every Ooh, time. Uh, well, so I guess my bad. <laughs> um and then he drinks them, folks. He comes over here and drinks them. So, hey, what do you call that? Like a parasite? Um, you're not really symbiotic because yeah. uh, I'm just leeching off of you essentially. I think I think that would probably be like the biological I'm a equivalent. Yeah, right. well, good to that's know okay where, though. Good to know hey, where look. I stand. Yeah, I enjoy your company, so it makes it more. It's like a parasite that I you're get, like, hey man, I get off or something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you just get to talk to. Yeah, you're like, I don't care that you're like eating my body right now. You're like, you got a parasite right there. You're like, you're a good company. It's you're, like you're, you're, it's like good. Wilson the volleyball. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that kind of thing. I am Wilson yeah. the volleyball. Okay. <laughs> I mean, imaginary yeah. figure that drinks whiskey with you. Uh, you know. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be very upset if you floated away. Um, yeah. Ask me if I got Old Fitz 15, though. Okay, do you have Old Fitz 15? Yeah, I got it the week after you got it. And guess how much I paid? How much you pay? I paid 200 for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, tell everyone how that was possible. How did you pay $200 for it? How be- did that work well, out? Well, because of the relationship that I had established with my uh, with my guy. <laughs> With your guy, with and, my guy, and but with, and and, and uh, you know that that was a couple years of work, I would say. Yep. But you know, now I think the minimum price was one fifty for that. So yeah. And if in my guidelines that I go for, because I don't have the big wad 
to mm-hmm. spend is uh i go if i really want a bottle and it's like allocated i'll spend i, I give my rule like double msrp is what i'll spend mm-hmm. so that falls within the guidelines and now i've broken that rule several times yeah but not by a lot but but not by a lot like i'll i justify rationalize it in my head so i'm also part of the problem but um i don't know i think he feels bad for me too i don't even know <laughs> like he's like eh, i'm on a budget i really can't spend that he's oh, like, all right okay. I'll, I'll 250 that or 200 then I'll, all right. <laughs> I was like, where, "Where's that going? Like, does he feel bad for you? For what reason?" He's like, Maybe "This guy has some homeless." Yeah, I was gonna say this guy bottles. has some. This guy has some really low class clothes. He's mm-hmm. probably thinking that that's, when you yeah, walk in. I wear I wear shaggy stuff when I go in there. Yeah, but I still buy. That's actually maybe that's a, good, a good yeah tactic to use when you go in. Yeah, like, it could be. It could be. It works. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to. This is gonna be a funny statement, but out of all of the embarrassing moments that I've had with all the liquor stores around the area, you know, like trying to like be the guy because everyone does that. Um, I'd like to. I, there's two that I mainly get from. If I'm not buying from a big box, there's two places I get from. Mm-hmm. One of them's down the road, and you know who it is, and the other one's kind of farther, and you know who that is, too. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, and I'd like to think we're kind of friends, at least acquaintances, right? That's a funny statement because it's like, are you really? Right. I don't know. Like, I could just chat with them. Sometimes I go hang out with them, and I don't buy anything. And well, sometimes I'll get a call, hey, we're going to do a barrel pick you want to try. Like, that's and that's, that, like, that's cool, you know? Like, I, and I think a lot of people might have that, but, like, I, I, I don't always buy something. I'll just, because he's right there, I'll go hang out and just drink, and I'll maybe I'll bring something, or he'll, like, hey, come to the back, I have something. He's not selling it, he just wants to drink with me. And I think we should clarify, <clears> when you say, like, hang out, you just mean, like, go to his place of work, and while he's working... Just yeah, go, like, essentially, to you go to the, you go to the, like, there's a little table in the back, and uh, most of these places have food, so he has good food. Half the time, he just wants someone to hang out with, so pop a pizza in and uh, drink, and you just hang out. And, and, and <laughs> like a good amount of the times, especially now that I have a kid, I don't really buy anything unless I really want it. So, what are you smelling on this? What are you getting? What nose? Uh, so I got on the nose. I, I felt like I got a little, a lot of like caramel, but like mm-hmm. also I get a little bit cinnamon on the nose. I get um. Like that, Werther's, that, that might be the fireball. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. No, that's no, what I knew. Yeah, that's yeah. why. That's why I didn't drink it all. I had a tiny little sip of that thing, man, because I knew it was gonna mess. This? this is the fireball. Yeah, you can drink that. Oh, so he gets a lot of cinnamon notes. No. A lot of cinnamon. He notes. gets there's like cinnamon all over. That probably wasn't a good decision. Say what you will. It's a good party <laughs> starter. And they're, you know, they're yep. in some trouble. I'm interested to see what happens with that. Yeah. We didn't really talk much about that, did we? No, but um, my brain's, you know, a little ping pong ball bouncing around. So let's finish the nose on this first. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, for sure. And then I, mean, I, I get, get oak. the same nose. I yeah, get I get oak. oak yeah. Uh, and then, like I said, I get like Werther's. I get a little butterscotch on there. You know, it's what really this, nice. It smells like a really good bourbon is what it smells like. If we're just going to, yeah, boil it or distill it down to, to the main thing. Um, What is this? Indiana, Ohio, and... God, it really yeah, this should one was be like usually a, a more prepared a, a group of yeah different things this is uh well it's a blend of straight bourbon whiskeys finished in mizanara french and toasted american oak so that mizanara make an appearance the last couple years and this is distilled in indiana tennessee and kentucky so no ohio i think ohio might have been the the new year one oh. that we didn't that we didn't get uh everyone else did but we didn't so um we're sore about it but we, we understand are, it, too. We, uh, we understand it. Yeah. No one watches us, so <laughs> it's probably why. This is probably yeah, why. Yeah, it's probably why. <laughs> what we're uh, doing right now, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we love Barrel. Barrel Craft Spirit. We fucking love your stuff. I really haven't had anything that I haven't liked. Big fans. Big, Big fans. fans. Big fans. a little high. Let me pull this down a little bit. Do you, man. Uh, so anyways, yeah. So that's what that is. And this thing won a... Uh, a gaggle of awards just a gaggle if i can be i think so well, i mean at least i think it won a one or two for sure and you know we wanted to get it and here we are now we have it it took a little while for us to get it in, in uh michigan michigan yeah. takes a long time for everything yeah and then that's that's a, the funny thing too our uh, basically how it works in michigan and it takes a while to get there and then once you get there it's like you have to make sure to try and secure yourself a bottle when everyone is you know, it's just the game that we talked about before. Yeah, it's Everyone game. wants to get a bottle of something, you know, something yeah. specific. And this is one of those, I think, if I remember correctly, it was one of those, uh, you know, situations. Yeah. Where it's like we wanted this and everyone else wants it. And Well, should we should we give a little notes on this and kind of wrap this up, you think? Absolutely. Yeah, so. yeah for sure. Okay. It's getting there. So uh, I get some definitely like, a, I get I, kind of like a, 
on the on the palate, I get like a pop tart. That's like a, you know that brown sugar cinnamon pop tart. That's what I yeah, get. Yeah, it's man. my fucking favorite one. I know. It's del- a lot of people would say you're crazy, dude. You know, I read something. I like it too. No, I like it. I've um, someone said somewhere like we have the technology. Why don't you just make the whole fucking thing, the brown sugar? Like, how, why is there only a patch of it on the front? Like, that's bullshit. We're getting oh. gypped. Oh. And it's true. Like, the yeah. technology is there. You don't like the fact that you can, like, sometimes they get brown on the outside? Who the fuck? You like, know what I do when I do it? Mm. I fucking crumble the crust off. Oh, who wants that? It's like the crust done bread. Oh. Wait, so, I'm not a crust eater. All right. So this kind of uh, makes you know us what? wonder if for, you are... for, Hold on. You look like a crust eater. Oh, I'm, are you, I'm definitely a crust you eater. You probably cut Dude. your sandwich in triangles, too. <laughs> I knew it. I don't know if I could do this anymore. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't trust me if I were you. Nah, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. But uh, okay. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a note I get. I get. So on the nose, I got a little bit of nuttiness and I get that on the palate as well. Mm-hmm. I do too. I got um, pecan actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. Like a pecan pie almost. It's very sweet. Yep. There's this is brown very, sugar. Yep. This is very good. I mean, I can see why it's one. I mean, oh, it's yep. good. More, te- <laughs> more technical, technical difficulties. Deal. All right. Um, all right, guys, if you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, you know, fill in the comments. Even if you want to be mean, do it. I don't know. Give us some feedback. That one's tough, too. That one's tough, too. Oh, is this our last one? Your last, our last this is one, our last one. Yeah. Uh, we're on Instagram, homebar.io. We're on TikTok. Are we homebar.io on TikTok? We are. Yep. We are. Mm-hmm. We're on YouTube, homebar.io. Mm-hmm. Uh, help us out. Give us some pointers here. Like, subscribe. Cheers, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye. Cheers.